besties welcome back to the channel this is so with so me on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this butterfly root skirt so if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much please like share and subscribe to my channel and on your post notification button so you get notified whenever i post a new video so for this tutorial i made use of two years of crepe so if you watch here i have both the front and the back so the only difference between the front and the back is the one inch zipper allowance i added for the back that is where we'll be adding our zipper so now this is what we have so for the length i have on fold i have 17 inches so my hip is 40 divided by 4 give you 10 i added 7 inches to that that is what is going to make our butterfly so the next thing i did was i opened up the one inch zipper allowance i added so i opened up the one inch zipper allowance i added so after that i took off the one the uh, starting line i marked i cut off the excess there so that both the back and the front will be equal so on that point i'm going to take off 1.5 inches for my skirt band then i'll measure the full length so the full length i have here is 40 inches i want the length of my skirt to be 20 if i want to rush it so the extra 20 there is for the rushing so after that, I'm going to take off the pins so that we can work on the front piece. So here is the front piece. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to take off 1.5 inches for the band so that we can get our hip point. So my hip point is 9 inches. So just place your tip from your waist to your fullest part of your hip. That is your hip point. So that is it. I'm putting my hip point. I remember the length of my skirt is 40 inches. So on the waistline, I'll divide my round waist by four and I'll mark. So for this gown, sorry, for this skirt, make sure that you're using your exact measurements. Your exact measurements. So on the hip line, I'll divide my round hip by four. I'll mark. So mine is 10. So I didn't add any allowance to this because my fabric was a bit stretchy. But if your fabric isn't stretchy, you can decide to add one inch allowance. So now I'll connect both the waist measurement and the hip measurement together this way. After getting my measurement, now I'm going to take that 10 inches. Remember on the hip line, I got 10 inches. So if you measure, I have 10 inches, which is 40 divided by 4, that is 10. Now I'm going to take that 10 inches all the way down to the full length. So watch carefully. If there is any place you're confused, just watch it slowly, you understand. So now I'm marking that 10 inches all the way down to the full length, making sure making sure that I have the same. That is why I, as I measure, I will mark as I will measure, I will mark then connect the lines. So this way I will have equal lines from the hip line down to the full length. So now I'm done getting my measurement. So this is what I have. It's that easy. So and remember that we are still going to mark this measurement on the other side. So the easiest way I do this, I use my pins to mark out the lines. So here I'm just spinning it all around. This way it makes it easier for me to mark it out on the other side of the fabric. So now I've turned it to the other side. Can you see my pins? Like it is showing a little bit. So now I'll just mark out my waist so you guys can see it. So this is my waist. So I have a pin there. Now I'm going to connect it following the pins I marked out initially. So I'm just going to follow the pin. And if you watch carefully, like this chalk somehow matches with the some part of the of the crepe material 
so all i did here was just to mark out the same 10 inches all the way down so after marking out this is what i have so we have both measurements on the both side so now on the waistline we are going to notch the waistline by half an inch this way so on that point where we have our waistline we're going to notch it in by half an inch now this is what i have so i'm going to take off the paint So I'll get the back piece, I'll place it on the front piece this way. I'll go stitch the one inch zipper allowance and bring it back. So after stitching my zipper allowance, this is what I have. So we're going to open it up. So remember on the waistline where we notched, you see that notched we have on the two side of the waistline. Now we're going to fold that in by half an inch. We are hemming the waistline, we're folding it in by half an inch. Now we're going to fold it in half an inch all the way around to the full length. I'll do that and I'll bring it back. And as I hem the other side, I will probably do the same for the other side. So whatever I do for the back piece, I will probably do that for the front piece. So just like I did for the front, the part where we notch, we're going to hem it in. So I'll do that and bring it back to show you what I have. So after hemming it around, see what we have. Do you see how neat the hemming looks? So this is what I have. So next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the front piece on the back piece this way. Making sure the right sides are facing each other, that all the sides are matching. Now I'm going to stitch on that line that we've marked out, where we marked out our measurements. But if we do that, remember that we are going to pass a rope to this dress. Either you are using an elastic or using a rope just like I did. We need a channel for it. So I'm going to mark in half an inch from that, my allowance, from my measurement. Remember we took this measurement. This is our correct measurement. So from that measurement, we are going to mark out half an inch. So this is where we'll be creating the channel for our skirt. So either you're passing an elastic or you're going to make use of a rope like I did. You need that half an inch allowance so that you can create your channel. So I'm going to take this measurement all the way down to the full length. So I didn't want to fast forward this part so that you can get every step. Because as I am explaining, my hands are equally doing the job. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me questions on the comment section. And guys, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you regret any of my videos, you can send me pictures or videos at so with so me on Instagram. So after marking out my half an inch, this is what I have. So now I'm going to take it to the measure and run a stitch on the first line and equally run a stitch on the second line. So whatever I do for this side, I'll do that on the second side. I'll do that and I'll bring it back to show you what I have. So after stitching, this is what they have. So this is my butterfly reach. So I've created the channel already for it. So now I have ropes already and the length of my rope is 30 inches. So I'm just going to pass my safety pin in through this way. Now I'll start passing it in through the channel we've created already.
so after passing it this is what i have now i'm going to take it to the machine and i'll stitch that part see the part i pinned i'm going to stitch that so after stitching this is what i have so i have my band here and the length and the width is four inches so i'm going to fold it into two this way and i'll pass it all around the waistline using half an inch and after that i'll add my zipper and i'll do that and bring it back after stitching this is what i have this is how everything came out looking and here i've equally added my zipper allowance so this is how neat everything came out looking so if i want to reach it i'll just drag up the rope this way and i'll equally do the same on the other side depending on the length i want my skirt to be so this is how easy it is to draft out so thank you guys so much do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and on your post notification button so you get notified whenever i post a new video i'll see you on my next video bye